Hey guys, this is Real Appalachia with Shane. And Melody. And we're certainly finding ourselves in an odd place today, aren't we? We are in an odd place today. We are in odd West Virginia. Yeah, it doesn't get any more odd than that, does it? It sure you does. You can tell from the post office here. Well, we're going to take yeah. a little look around at this place and give you a look-see. It's Yep, we happen to be in Raleigh County, so we want to show odd West Virginia because a lot of you guys have asked to see it. Absolutely, so let's get on the road. All right. A little bit of a windy two-lane road to get in here, and, uh -huh, and it's yeah. not too terribly far off the interstate. Yeah, about five miles from the interstate and about the busiest uh, gas station that we have seen in yeah. West Virginia. <laughs> but Barely yeah. made it out alive there. Oh yeah, it was very crowded, but then the ride down here, the five miles, is a long and winding one. It is, but it's a beautiful ride. So It really is. We're going to get on the road show you a little bit more of this odd place. All right. Well, let's get on the road and show the good folks a little bit of the community of Odd, West yes. Virginia. Apparently, there's only two buildings here. One is the post office, and the other is this little church here, mm -hmm. the Mountain Valley Baptist Church. Mm -hmm. And the rest are homes. Um, it is an unincorporated community, so it's not a town or anything like that. It's mostly homes. It's located along Tommy Creek in Raleigh County. Yeah. People seem very nice. They do, and uh, of course this town, if, if, if you stumbled into this video, very well could be because of the Soft White Underbelly series that uh, made famous, is that the word, or infamous something, the Whitaker family from here. Boy, look at that mansion. I know. That place is beautiful. Look how big it is. Gosh, that is great. Fantastic. Beautiful. Yeah. I'd like to know... Maybe that's somebody that works in Beckley or something. And yeah, I, I want to know their uh, idea. Look at that. That's what's amazing. Beautiful land, too. Nice little barn. Rolling, rolling hills, little pond, new red barn. That looks really nice. It really does, yes. So. Well, let's turn it around now. Yeah, what a lot of people say? have asked to see Odd just because of the Odd name, which we haven't got to tell that yet. Oh, yeah. So How crazy of us. That was odd know. of us to not to tell that. You cut me off. I didn't cut you off. You, you had all off. the time in the world to I say that. I did not have all the time in the world. I've had one and a half minutes. Well. So the people of the community needed a name for the community, and they just wanted something odd and unique and so they chose odd and it stuck oh there you go it's odd <laughs> it's an odd little story it is yeah but a good story it nonetheless is. so of course like we said before it was made famous or infamous or something famous. by the you just like the word infamous. i do i love that word infamy that a lot of people have asked to see the town of Odd, yeah. but like we said, it's not really a town. It's just a little community. We happen to be in Raleigh County for a friend. Yeah. And so we saw Odd Road, which is what we were on, and just decided to take it on down to Odd. Yeah, and a lot of people ask us, when are we going to talk to the Whitakers and this kind of thing, and uh, the answer is we're not going to. Yeah, Unless they come seek us. <laughs> That's just not what we do. It's not... No. We just want to leave people at peace and yeah. be respectful of their peace and their privacy, just like we would want. Yeah, so there's curiosity about what this town really is like mm -hmm. and looks like. So hopefully that puts us to bed and everybody can move on to mm -hmm. another story. But yeah, it's beautiful, beautiful out here. It beautiful, is. beautiful. Beautiful country. And it's a little bit, it's really close to Winter Place, the ski resort. Yeah. And it was so close off the interstate, just about five miles, I was like, oh, this will be a breeze of a drop. And it's not. I mean, it's very curvy and uh, narrow, but it's, you know, it's a nice little drop. It's very pretty. Let's just take some routes and see. If it's called Odd School Road, I'll It had to be an odd school at some point, yeah. Hopefully yeah, it's still here. Maybe a little schoolhouse or something. I would love to see that. And hopefully we're not just going into somebody's driveway. No, we've like done it said. before. Um, we don't like to do that. Sometimes we have to. Well, we did. Look how cute. Yeah, Odd elementary. elementary. Oh my God. Then that was worth how the trip precious. here. How Aren't you glad I told you to do Man, that? Man, you are. You are. You are. What would I do? What would you do without, without me? There's a little trampoline in there too. That is the cutest little school. To turn around and get a better dead on view of that. Does somebody live there? No, no, no. Surely not. Maybe it's like a um, 
like a community center or something, something. like that. Just yeah. Spectrum. And you see that a lot. People repurpose these things and use them, but I'm glad to see that that is as adorable as a little school Isn't as you ever see. so cute. I hate seeing these little... You know what? I think somebody might live here. I don't know. I know. It does look like the back part. Or maybe it's like a daycare or something. It could be. I don't know. That is adorable, though. I love the yellow and the blue. Yeah. It just looks like a cheerful little place. I'll bet that was a happy elementary school to go to, won't you oh, think? Oh, yeah. But yeah. so, too. I bet somebody has some good memories. I would love to hear them in the comments. I know. I'll tell you one thing about it. Ain't nothing odd about that school. That's beautiful. It's so cute. <laughs> You just love saying that. I know. Me and my puns are a fool and his pun are soon spoken or something like that in the roll window. You know what? I think that that is somebody's house now, so I don't want to be. Oh, but, yeah. but I just saw a little name out there. Oh, did so. you really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That they've left up the stuff that showed that it was a school. Well, how cool is that? I appreciate that. Can you imagine you living know, in your old school house? I would love that. That would be so neat. Hopefully the people that bought that does have a history there. Yeah. So how cool. Yeah. So. Well, I'm glad we took this little trip down here. I know, me too. Let's I wasn't, see if there's another little. I wasn't overly excited about it to begin with uh, because, you know, just don't know much about it. But. Yeah. You get down here and you get paid off. That's yeah. what happens. You see something cool. Beautiful day in West Virginia. Sure is. Yeah. Love seeing little school houses and the old churches, but and I'm guessing because Sophia was a little community where there was um, coal miners lived, but they're not really coal mines. I'm guessing that odd is about the same way. I haven't. Well, we saw Josephine is nearby, and that was there was a coal mine there, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So. Yeah, this is all part of coal country, but that's just mm -hmm. like I said, a little, another place. Kind of neat to see how close this is to Winter Place. Yeah. The ski resort and no, interstate. No, wild. And the busiest. I mean, it is very mountainous. I've never been there. I've heard really good things about it. But. Well, I had a bad experience there. Did I tell you this? Uh oh. What? My first time I ever went skiing in my life, I took my son and. My brother took his, and as soon as we pulled in, we heard somebody coming out of the mountain screaming to the top of their lungs. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That broke their leg. They <laughs> were coming out of the mountains. Oh my gosh, that's scary. Yeah, it was bad. It was bad, but. So I didn't have a good experience. I was a little gun shy after that. But... I don't know that this road really goes anywhere. Yeah, probably not. Good play. Let's look for a good place to turn around. Yeah. I don't think I could swing it right here, do you? <laughs> no. That's the thing. If you if you come down these roads, you're not going to have an easy time getting back out. No. Than, you know. And by golly, you better be friendly when you're back in here too, because yes. you won't. Uh, be seen with happy eyes. Nope. Yeah. This is uh, about what a lot of West Virginia parts are look like, though, as far as you know. They're mm -hmm. such a mountainous state, the mountain, you know, just such a mountainous state that a lot of things are windy and curvy just to get around them, snake your way through them. And, but it's beautiful, gorgeous. It is. I think you can see that. From I mean, it honestly reminds me of places in Southwest Virginia. Oh, that, yeah. You know, if you just get out of like town limits and just in little communities that people live. Yeah, it feels like home. So, that place looks familiar. Well, boy, don't it though. Looks like we've stumbled upon some famous people's homes, so. Yeah. We'll just do a smile and a wave and on our way. Okay, well, still can't find a place to turn around. I don't want to bother them, do we? No, I don't like turning in people's driveways, but I mean, I don't know that we're going to have much choice yeah. back through here, but yeah. I don't know. Just go out of my way to bother anybody either. No. Maybe we can turn. Yeah, let's try it. Get back out of here. Whew. Is 
a tight community for sure. Oh yeah. Yeah, and that's what you find in these rural areas. People protect each other, and, uh, and they're probably. Well, we say this every holler we go down is that you don't sneak up on anybody, you know. No. Nope. There's eyeballs on you wherever you go. That's exactly right. It's uh, very overgrown. I'm sure it looks a lot different in the winter, Tom. Yeah. Sure, you're right about that. My family out in Grayson County is a lot like that. You get on these little tight and curvy roads, and it's all grown up. And no. little sleepy little uh, creek run through here too, doesn't it? Oh yeah. It uh, looks like a nice peaceful place to live. Sure does. Well, I think we're about ready to wrap it up because we'll be back on Odd Road. Get on Odd Road. Oddly enough, I'm hungry. Well, that ain't nothing odd about that, is it? That's about <laughs> as typical as you get. That's about like us. Okay, guys, we hope you enjoyed this look at odd West Virginia. Mm -hmm. Wasn't too much odd about it, was it? No, not too many odd things. <laughs> no, oddly enough, we did run into the Whitaker place. But... Oddly enough, we did. <laughs> yeah, wasn't really looking for it, but no. you know, and we know that we're going to have a lot of people asking why we didn't stop and talk to them. So we just thought that we would address that yeah. really quick. So we just feel like you know they're just like anybody else and people shouldn't just go up and approach them and ruin their saturday yeah and, I, and they do have a good story to tell and it's worth telling and mm -hmm. hearing but Absolutely. it's already been told quite a bit yeah at this point too i don't and, think there's anything left to say about that and, and we weren't invited there and so you know we just didn't feel like we had any business going there today no because we could have went in there for a big view grab and mm -hmm. we could have walked, walked out there but it's just not what we do yeah exactly and again we encourage nobody else to go no. and do the same thing either it was a little hairy back in you know not mm -hmm. the, the roads were for one thing it's a little tight and narrow and then if you run into somebody and whatever it, it's, yeah you know, it, i mean it was really hard to get turned around yeah. even if you went too far i could see i mean not really getting lost i don't know but well had i ran over that rough. tree stump like you were afraid of too we might have been out there jacking a flat tire up in a blind curve so yeah exactly no cell phone service no either, cell phone service so. plus it just you know, it's just rural communities are rural for a reason. People want to be out by themselves. So, yeah, exactly. Another reason why we try to respect that. And we show you the beauty of these places, and that is a gorgeous place to see. Mm -hmm. and that's Absolutely. what we're hoping you get out of this video. Yeah, and so many people wanted to just see what that area was yeah. like. So we were in the area, and we wanted to show you guys. Exactly. So, so. so please give us the thumbs up yes. if you like this. Give us a comment, and if you haven't, subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our adventures. And we will see you on down the road.